Live from Appleton, it's APTV. Welcome to APTV, <laughs> episode 532 for Thursday, March 7th, 2024. You got to leave that in, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> this week we have banter, news, updates, the Twisby Eco Dark Sapphire, a deal on ST DuPont, Pelican Highlighter Ink, Osmoroid pen bundles, which are really cool, vintage nibs, some of my personal pens that I'm destashing, a contest winner, a new contest, plus a watch. A what? A watch. A watch. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Brian. Did you hear the story about the pirate who walked into the bar wearing a paper towel hat? <laughs> What's up with the paper towel hat? He says, ah, there be a bounty on me head. <laughs> You know, that's actually funny. Wow, somehow, alert the media. All right, all right. That one was funny. <laughs> Required a little bit of preparation. I think I need a moment. Uh, tomorrow, Friday, March 8th, is International Women's Day. Uh, I got to get my glasses. While the U.S. has its own celebration, this is the day for the global community to come together and celebrate women, as they should every day. Uh, this day focuses, gives focus to issues such as gender equality, reproductive rights, and violence and abuse against women. There should be more of those days. Yeah. Uh, Sunday, March 10th, I guess that's uh, this weekend, huh? Uh, yeah. The start of daylight savings. Uh, clocks reset at 2 a.m., so make sure you don't forget to adjust things like your stove and car. Most things these days automatically adjust. Yeah, but it's the things that don't, that totally yeah. mess with you. The coffee maker. I know how to do that with the new coffee maker. <laughs> I hate it when it springs ahead because you lose an hour. Well, you're sleeping anyway. You don't I know, miss, you don't miss I it. I sleep an hour less. Well, you don't miss it. All right. News, a uh, recap of the journaling class that we held here in the store as part of Pen Club or just store events. Uh, we had um, Lindsay taught the class, and yeah. it went really she well. We had job. nine people. Uh, I think impressive. everybody left happily. Uh, everybody left happy with um, a whole bag of goodies, and they worked on several different types of journals and uh you know, she, she brought in like a massive. Amount so we of stuff. we provided. Uh, you paid for the class, which included a free notebook, a free pen, and a free Midtown pouch, which I love. Those are just cool. And Keep then we had uh, mm -hmm. a bunch of washi tape and stickers and funky paper clips and and scrapbook paper and all sorts of things. And we had purchased um, a handful of stickers just so people could get a feel for what you can do with you yeah. know, stickers in your journal. Yeah. And Lindsay said, oh, I've got a bunch. I'll bring them in. I'm picturing a baggie. This was like this huge. She brought in this, this, I think it's a photo organization box, but it looked like a briefcase yeah. with like it's 10 or 20 business. different colored boxes. Um, each one had like different colored stickers that were the only time. And Lindsay, I love you, baby. I, I didn't the even. The only I didn't time see it was organized. Yeah. She's not an organizer. Yeah. Um, I have a hard enough time just trying to write on the page, much less put stickers. She, I mean, she so. walked in with this this yeah. huge yeah. thing. Like, there was no shortage of no, stuff. To, no, it was crazy. ideas. It was you know, it was pretty cool. Um, so was that was cool. a lot of fun. Uh, there was a lot of interaction. It really went well. I was very happy with with people. We're, we're talking about their challenges and their successes, and um, so I, I thought it went really well. Whenever I get a bad sausage, it's just the worst. What else uh, is exciting? Uh, a Twisby Eco Dark Sapphire is now uh, in selling and, uh, and shipping, so we, they came in uh, really early this week. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. A nice pretty color. Uh, very rich, rich color. Yeah. So very so, uh, the newest edition. And uh, we currently have our ST DuPont D initial roller balls and ball points on sale. They are an additional 10% 10 off. 10 off. Uh, some <clears throat> of these have been discontinued, and so whatever we have left is all we have. Yep. So great if you're if you're interested in one, um, this is a really good price. And uh, grab them before they are gone. It's uh, never too early to it's think about buying. Father's Day, Mother's Day. Graduation. Yep. 
Um, mm. But nice weight in the hand. I really do like the ballpoint. This is uh, this is a pretty exciting here. Uh, this finally, this came in. Um, Did we order this last year? This was so. This PO was so old. Uh, what are we talking about? Pelican four thousand one Duo Highlighter Ink, um, and this is the the yellow. And this is, as far as highlighter inks are concerned, this one is amazing. This is a great highlighter ink. Some of them are not so great, but the Pelican is fantastic. It's bright. It's fluorescent. Uh, shade of yellow comes in this small 30 mil bottle. Um, Best used in a really broad or even a stub nib. Yeah, yeah. Um, and <clears> for <throat> absolute best use, use it over an ink that is either waterproof or at least water resistant mm -hmm. because it is another layer of colored water over whatever ink you've got already got on the page. Yeah, so this, this would be good in a, like a, um, a one blobby 1.9. Or uh, joy, the uh, you know, or, or Fude. something like that. Yep, uh, Pilot Parallel, something like that would be yep. a real good choice for it. So, uh, of course, made in Germany. All that good stuff. Oops. Uh, also, just in, uh, we have gotten in a couple weeks ago the new uh, Lamy colors, the Pink Cliff and the Violet Blackberry. We got in the pens and the bottled ink, but the cartridges for some reason were a couple weeks behind, and yep. so we just got them. Just in. got it. So super excited. I love that violet blackberry. It just makes me hungry. This is a, the pink lips are nice. I, I I don't like the name. I think it's a. It, it's but it's 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 a nice, lovely blue black. And this is hard to so, see, but this is really truly blackberry that's nice. color. If you can get past the name, it, it's a it's a really nice uh, a nice color. nice shade of blue. Yeah, blue black. So we got a couple um, uh, some vintage stuff uh, that we just put up on the website this week. Uh, the first uh, edition, uh, first part here is um, we've got a bunch of these Osmoid 65 pens. And, of course, we've in the past we have had Osmoid 65 nibs, which um, can be threaded. Okay. And they will actually even fit into the, the vintage Esterbrooks. Uh, but we have those nibs, and now we've got a couple of the original pens. These are lever fillers. Um, and so what we're doing with these is we have mostly in black, although I do have a a gray one, which is actually... Kind of looks like a blue-gray. It's kind of hard to find. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's almost like our slate, almost a little bit yeah. darker slate. But um, we're, we're selling these in, in sets, so you get a pen uh, with a nib, and then you get to choose an extra nib to go with it. That's cool. Um, so that way you've got something you can play with. Um, and each one of these has a different nib uh, to start with, and then you get your choice of one of four uh, to pick with. So cool. kind, of, kind of a cool bundle just for fun. Uh, also... Uh, these we've had sitting around for a while, and I'm Years. just, uh, I'm tired of looking at them, quite frankly. I mean, literally, we have thousands of, of these things. Yes. Um, uh, what am I talking about? Um, uh, these are vintage fountain pen nibs, and these, so, these are not dip pen. These are not dip pen. These are for fountain pens, but these are not modern Yovo nibs yeah. or Schmidt or Bach. These are kind of the random weird is, ones. The sizing is all over the place. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I've um, when I listed these... I, I measure two two dimensions. One is the width at the base, and then the length of the nib. So um, we make no guarantees gets, what they yeah. fit. So what? But what are these good for? Well, you know, these are um, these are various brands. Some of them are even marked as to what brand it is. Uh, but some of them are actually uh, there's one here that are actually iridium tipped. They're actually tipped. They're not just indented or anything like that. Right. These are perfect nibs. Uh, to use now, you could stick them in a dip pen holder. Um, you can get them to fit, but perfect nibs to use if you want to practice your your smoothing or your grinding techniques. Or even if you're not sure how to use brass sheet, but you're afraid to try it yeah. on a nicer yeah. pen. I mean, these are perfect for all of those kinds of things. Just, just you know, um, they, they were never probably never uh, the, the the best best nibs on the market. They were just a generic nib intended to replace, you know, for fountain pen repairs to. Uh, to put in a, a pen if somebody's nib broke. So we got lots of those, uh, you know, lots try them out, lots. try them out for, you know, practicing they're, your they're nib cheap. work. Yeah. Yeah. Very cheap. Like less, less than a dollar. Some yep. of them. So, um, so but really, really great to practice on, yeah. especially if you thought at some point, I want to try smoothing something. I want to try grinding something, but I really don't know what I'm doing. I really don't yeah. want to mess up, you know, a pen I like. And, and if, you, if, you, if you damage it, you, you toss it. Yeah, they're, they're steel. You know, they're they're super cheap. Uh, also, uh, we don't do this very often. This is rare. This doesn't this happen very, very often. Rare. But uh, we have some unrestored parts pens lots. 
Um, I would recommend you, you check the descriptions out for full uh, for full details. Uh, what are these? These some of these are are just inexpensive pens. Uh, typically steel nib on some of them. Uh, some of them have gold nibs. You know, I've got a nice Waterman lot here. We got a 52 and a half V Ripple. We've got a, a Conklin, a, a Skyline. But you know, this Skyline's got a good nib, and that's about it. So um, you're buying these for parts. Some of them are able to be restored. I've got a nice 14 karat nib lot here with the uh, Waterman Ink View, a, a nice Conklin. But everything has but, an issue or yeah, two. Yeah. Um, so we'll read the descriptions to tell, to tell yes. you, I mean, some of them are, are restorable. You know, this, this Lady Ink View here is, is, fully, is absolutely restorable, but uh, I don't do that repair. Right. Uh, and it's a, it's a lady, so I'm just gonna put it in. Then I've got, you know, some cartridge pens and pencils. And yeah, all, all sorts, sorts of, of assorted stuff. So, um, but yeah, we rarely sell unrestored there, pens. There, there might be more of these in the future. We'll see how these do. Okay. So, um, you have got some I still have a couple pens. of my pens left. Um, I'm really excited um, at the fact that some of them moved. I, I really feel good that I'm de-stashing a lot of things. Um, I did a bunch of clothes. I did a bunch of stuff in my office. Got a, rid of a bunch of pens. Um, so, I still have... The Fantasia and the Beleza, the Estrabrook JRs, um, those are nice. And you know, it's funny, there really aren't any that I'm sad to let go. Okay. I know a That's couple good. people have already gotten their, their Lisa pens that they bought and they're excited. So I'm glad that they're going to, to new good homes. Um, Surprise, that's still here. That's a yeah, tough, the, you can't get that pen anymore. ST DuPont, this is the Line D Medium. I love some of the colors in the Line D large, but they're too big for my hand. So this is the Line D medium um, in the guilloche blue, which is really gorgeous. Um, Brian and I actually had matching pens, matching but pens, I... Yeah. It's per really a perfect size. Really it's perfect really size a pen. great size. Great and weight. so, you know, the cap makes that click and it snaps on the back. So the cap's not gonna fly off and hit Justin. I can't so. you do that. I think it's appropriate to demonstrate okay. how strong mm -hmm. that is. Still do it with ink in it. No. Um, the metallic blue Pro Gear Slim. Love that one. My um, metallic red that used to be uh, only available with the Saibi Togi does not have the Saibi Togi. Um, yeah, my Medici Ballpoint. And, That's and nice. That's a I nice love pen. ballpoints. That's a nice pen. I freely admit I like ballpoints, but I have several others that I use. Um, I can't believe this one's still here. And then That's my copper pen. vanishing point from several years ago. This is serial number 149. Um, but I just have several others, and I I prefer the uh, the decimo. So, all right. so there you go. All right. And last but not least, uh, I took your your de-stashing, and I, I'm, I'm trying it myself. Okay. How's it feel? Uh, I don't you know. you are not a de-stasher. I don't know yet because I, I haven't sold love this. love it. I haven't sold this yet. Okay. So this Somebody is not a pen. This is it. not a pen. This is it's the watch. A watch. Um, this is a Grand Seiko 56, 5646, 7010 is the reference. Um, no idea what you just said. I know. It's sexy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. I got a 56 GS. Um, so anyway, what's what's cool about this watch, so this is a 19, not. this is a February 19, <laughs> I'm going to keep moving on here. February 1971 Grand Seiko. It's 36 millimeters, high beat automatic. The best part about it, linen dial. Um, day date, of course, that's what the 5646 means. Um, I have no idea what he just said. Beautiful, quick set on the date, of course. The only, uh, the only issue that is fully disclosed that this is possible, uh, that this has uh, had a redial at some point in its life. Uh, and the only indication is they forgot to put the reference number at the bottom of the dial. So, okay. but it's it's beautiful, very nice. It, it it's, has no service history, but um, it's a linen dial. It's beautiful. Cool. So, uh, I'm going to part with that. All right. Uh, and there's actually there one might, other you're considering. I am considering one other. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. I you know. You have a whole. I have a grand scheme, a grand plan. You have a whole box full of pen, uh, full of watches. Uh, several were your father's or your grandfather's, yep. Yep. and um, I'm glad that you're catching the de-stashing bug. Well, what I'm what I'm actually doing is is I'm just making way for you know I'm the next I'm, uh, the big next one the next one thing. So yeah, uh, we'll see. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, that's available. Okay, um, it's it's nice. It's a nice watch. Awesome.
What side of a tree grows the most branches? The outside. <laughs> ah, we had a contest last week. Um, what is your favorite Herbin ink color? And then the follow-up was tomorrow, back then, was a new month. Do you change your inks monthly? Do you? Monthly? Yeah. No. No. What, what, what I've been doing lately is, is what I did today is um, I picked this pen off my desk. So that's the Vanishing Point Rotten. Okay. Uh, water Stripe, Water Surface. I forget which one that is. Um, and I, I, obviously it needs, it needs new ink. So then I just, that's how I clean my pens. I just re-ink them. And then when they run out, then <laughs> okay. back in my desk, I recycle. When they're empty. Yeah. Okay. So not monthly, but when needed. All right. So what is your favorite Herbin ink color? Uh, Catherine C. says, I recently purchased my first and favorite bottle of Herbin ink, the 100 ml Eclat de Saphir. Yep. Um, I'm, that almost, one is, I'm, I'm almost done with my 100 ml bottle. That's one of Brian's favorite yep. colors. Yep. Um, my only caution with the 100 ml is um, it's a plastic bottle yeah. and it doesn't have a box. <clears throat> it doesn't have a box. So, so definitely can... keep it. Um, sometimes that can, can go bad more quickly just because it's not in a box and there's more of it. Could and be an evaporation. sit around for a long problem time. Problem, too, through plastic. Um, but gorgeous, gorgeous color. Yeah, I put mine actually in, um, I put in a Twisby inkwell. Okay. With a blue cover. So I know, okay. I know it's a clot. Okay. Uh, Petra Gal, I'm going to, I'm Gallert. sorry, I'm going to push it. Gallert, thanks for another deeply Midwest-loved podcast. I used to live right by the shore of Lake Erie, so my favorite Urban by the way, the H is silent, right. is Vert Atlantique. The shimmer doesn't kill its readability. Cool. Uh, Gordob says Rouge Granat is definitely my favorite urban ink. Yes. Yeah, that's a nice one. I love that. Debbie Podgorski, great show. Don't have a lot of Giraban ink, but I do like the Poussière de Lune, a very pretty Gorgeous. plum color. No, I do not change inks monthly. That's okay. a lot. It sounds like a lot of work. Change them monthly? I know. You know, you say it, and it's like, oh, you've got a whole month, and you're going to use it up, but then, you know, you run out halfway, you refill it, and then the end of the month comes around, and it's like, hmm. uh, Ben Kemper says, always nice to see you, too. How's Jay, <laughs> Jay Urban, Inc. Favorites. I'm with Lisa yes. on the Rouge Granat, and I do love Emeraude de Chavour as well. Yeah, that's a nice uh, one. Keep well and have a good weekend. Thanks, Ben. Karen uh, Beto says Cacao de Brazil is my favorite, although sometimes I have a fling with Lee de Tay. I wish I were organized enough to switch inks monthly, but alas, am not. One of those two I have a bottle of, and I don't remember which one it is. Because it, it matched the Twisby Macarta. I thought it was the, the Cacao. I think it's cacao because it's that kind of grayed so. brown. Yeah. Uh, Laura Bennett says, I rotate ink monthly for the pen I will use to take notes at work. I think she's the first one who actually does it. I like being able to quickly ballpark where I am in my notebook when looking at old notes. Cool. I have lots of other pens inked that don't rotate monthly. March is always a grassy green. Last year it was Twisby Prairie Green. This year it will be Kuna Oto Coqueiro. I can't pronounce it. Ten times fast. Yeah. Uh, Amy Davis says, my favorite Urban ink is Lee de Tay, yep. but Rouge Hematite in an extra fine is a perfect bright red for editing. Okay. Awesome. Very good. And we have a winner. We do have a winner. Mark, I can't pronounce your last name. Segesur. Uh, Poussière de Lune is probably my favorite uh, Urban ink, but I'm also fond of Vert Empire. I don't have any schedule for my pens or inks. When I write one dry, it's time to ink up a different one. That's awesome. Good Congratulations. Plan. Send an email to eric at andersonpens.com. He will take credit of getting that. $20 credit onto your Anderson Pens account. Awesome. We have a new contest this we week. We do. Um, easy, but I bet we get a lot of complicated answers. What nib size is on the pen you reach for most often? Medium. Really? Not a broad? I don't have, well, I don't have a ton of broads, actually. Mostly medium. Okay. Mostly medium. I like a fine. Depends if it's Japanese, it's broad. Right. Usually medium. Okay. So, see, that's what people Easy are going to say. If Easy it's a enough. German, it's a this. If it's a Japanese, it's this. So, what nib size is on the pen you reach for most often? And we should have a follow-up because I always like to add things. What is the favorite pen that has that nib? So, what's your favorite pen? What do you reach for? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. DuPont. Okay. Usually DuPont. Okay. It's usually in a rotation. Mine's either a DuPont or a... Although with DuPont, it's a fine because it writes See? broader. See? <laughs> See, everybody's going to say, right. well, 
decimal. One, uh, one finishing com- point. I like it, my decimal. One commenter will be chosen at random uh, to win a twenty dollars credit on his or her AP account. Cool. I think. Uh, anything else you got this week? No, I don't think there's anything. You want to buy me a watch for Christmas? Well, it's nice. March. Oh, well, I know, but you got to start You're saving wait? up. Well, I mean, it's available now. No, I'm not going to buy you your own watch. I bought you the box that is over full. We're, we're going to de-stash that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's it. You're, we're good? We're good. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Uh, you can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we will see you next time. Bye.